What's in my camera bag? 2020. <laughs> What's going on guys? What is up? I hope you all are safe in your homes right now. Since you really can't go outside, this is the kind of content you'll be seeing from me. All right, so if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what's in my camera bag. But before anything else, there are a few things that I want to talk about. Number one, for the sake of my friends who don't live in the Philippines, this entire video will be in English. So forgive me if I make any grammar mistakes. Number two, I am not in any way claiming that the products I will show you today are the best and only products that will work for beginners. And speaking of, you probably clicked on this because you're aspiring to be a photographer. Number three, in order for you to understand why I have this uh, certain set of equipment, is my style and that's run and gun. Run and gun means I like to keep everything within reach and if I need to take a photo or if I need to shoot something I just make a quick grab and go. That's why you will see here that a lot of my things are very compact. Also I'll try to leave links in the description where you can get these things that I'll show you. Without further ado, let's open this bag up. I just realized first gear I'll be showing you isn't really here but it's the one I'm using right now so I'm shooting this vlog with my Canon G7X Mark II it's a point shoot camera I bought it mainly for vlogging when I started vlogging with this camera I noticed that I had eye for details that I'd like to keep some scenes and stills so I actually started taking photos with a point and shoot and I highly suggest that if you're just starting out get a point shoot camera practice with that and then you'll eventually just upgrade your gear in the long run Next is my primary camera, which is this little baby. This is the Canon M50. Now, I got this camera because it's uh, a lot smaller than your average DSLRs. I've been using this for a lot of my professional shoots, client work, some photography gigs, photo walks. If you saw my previous video of me printing my photos, all of it were taken with this camera. It's compact, small, I like it, it's convenient. Although it has its ups and downs, there are a lot of pros and cons with this camera. It doesn't bother me because right now, this is what I have and I make the most out of it. Along with this camera, I use a bunch of lenses. So let's start with, obviously, when you buy this camera, it comes with a kit lens, a 15 and 45. You can actually use this lens with any camera on the line of EOS M. You can use it on your M5, on your M6 and whatnot. Up next is this Viltrox, which I got secondhand from Facebook Marketplace. Viltrox EF to M adapter. So I got an adapter because I make use of mostly EF lenses. Although there are some lenses available for the mirrorless line. But when I do my research, I always end up looking for EF lenses. Speaking of EF lenses, the next one that I'll show you is this bad boy. <sighs> This is the Canon 15mm EF lens. This is the lens that I would assume, if not all, most photographers would have. After all, it's called Nifty 50 for a reason. I use this a lot for portrait photography. Although this is my only prime lens to date, I have made magic shooting a lot of things with this lens and I'm proud to have it and I'd like to thank my friend Paolo Zulueta, hashtag photos by PZ, for uh, handing it down to me. Actually, I bought it from him and this is one of my most used lens to date. All right, next up is my Canon EF 10 to 22 wide angle lens and this is the lens I use for vlogging. I usually vlog with my M50, but for obvious reasons, I have to show you this equipment. I'm using my G7X Mark II. I also have this zoom lens. This is a 55 to 250. This is not actually mine. I borrowed this from a good friend, also another Paolo. <laughs> Thanks, Bao. I've used this in a lot of long-range situations. So yeah, very cool, very handy. It's not the best zoom lens, but it does the job and it's earned me money. <laughs> what else do I have here? This next one is a microphone, which is the Boya BYMM1. It is a cardioid mic. Now, what I like about this is that it's small. Although it's not the best with sound quality, you'll hear it rumble a lot, but for the most part, it does the job and like I said you know I like things compact and this one is quite small fits in the pack just like that and I can put it away easily there you go as I close my flap we have here some charger ports 
cables, extra batteries, you gotta have those around always. If you're gonna be getting into photography, extra batteries are a priority. In the top compartment, I have a pouch here for you know extra cables like a phone charger. In this case, I have my earphones here. I have this cell phone clamp thing which I got from a cheap selfie stick. And it's quite useful because it has a port here and uh, this is the same size as most uh, tripod ports. So you can put this up on your tripod and you can shoot with your phone. You can make TikToks with this. Speaking of tripods, this is the only tripod I have to date, but I shall purchase a, a larger scale tripod. So this is my Joby Gorillapod. I'm not sure of what model this is, but you know, it's one of the smaller ones and it's enough to carry my M50, which I use mostly for vlogging. But it also does the job if I'm going to set up my camera probably on the side of a road or I'm going to wrap it around a pole or something. This one's very nifty. I also have here a notebook. It's my Starbucks Christmas uh, travel organizer which my girlfriend gave me. Hard drives. Everyone should have hard drives, right? These both are one terabyte. I love Under Armour. I'm at home right now but I usually carry around with me in this backpack my MacBook Pro. This is a 2012 MacBook Pro and it's been with me since 2013. It's honestly still so strong. This is where I do most of my edits and I bring it around with me in case I need to do any work in the field. Yeah. Oh yeah, almost forgot. My most recent purchases are these lights that I'm using right now. Um, hold on, let me show you. So this is a... <laughs> This is just the, sorry about the change of light I had to. This is just the cheap ones you get from the mall. I'm not really sure what the brand is, but this is the box that it came in. I got this from Lazada. I actually got two of these. This is supposed to be a diffuser, but it's still too bright if you turn it on. Yikes, you see that? I actually used dried up wipes as a diffuser and it actually does the job. It's just one of my many hacks. I'm very resourceful. Uh, you can switch it out, make warmer colors with this one. Now if you'll notice at my back, the light is blue. This is what I did. What I did with this one is that I I did the same thing as a diffuser. I just, you know, clamped it up in there and I put this blue plastic through. So I just stuck that blue plastic and it makes the blue light. <laughs> I just love that it keeps the mood ripped right there. I'm just gonna fix this and we'll be back to our natural setting. That's better. Next, you can take away all of this gear and I can be just left with this one item. It's my iPhone 11. I just love the image quality that iPhones produce, especially this new iPhone. Now this is a huge upgrade for me coming from an iPhone SE. The iPhone 11 does a good job. If you want to see what I'm talking about, I want you to check out Matty Hapoya's vlogs when he went to Banff with just his iPhone Pro Max. And last but not least, I don't normally keep this in the bag because it's very delicate, is this bad boy. This is a Canon AE-1 and it's a film camera and I've just started experimenting on film photography. I am nowhere close to even being a beginner. I was actually gonna start shooting a lot with this one before this whole pandemic started but given the situation right now we're stuck at home and I can't really uh, use this at home. Well, we'll see. We'll, 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 do, we'll try to do some stuff but for now it stays on the shelf. So that's it for my camera bag as of March 2020. One advice I'd give to beginners out there is that don't be intimidated by gear. Don't be intimidated by what you need. All you have to do is pick up the best camera at your disposal and start shooting. As of now, this is the equipment that fits the work I'm in. I have everything I need so far, but I'm still hoping to get upgrades in the future and once I do, I'll be making more videos like this. Hopefully I get to make videos twice a year. I'll be updating you guys twice a year with what gear I am using at that time. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. I hope all of you are safe in your homes. Stay inside, please, and wash your hands. All right, see you guys in the next video. Peace.